I'm pretty sure we have the combined IQ of probably a four-year-old, which... Hey Grains, so today's video is going to be just a little different because I have a thing behind me. Show yourself. <laughs> that was so freaky. Oh my <laughs> that was on camera. <laughs> Joining me today is my sister. She had a day off from work, so we decided to film together because she's a really huge dork. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a dork. I mean, we're, we're... It's, in the, it's in the blood. It's in the blood. We are absolutely dangerous together. Good luck in this video. Good luck. <laughs> so today we're going to be testing out three different products from Walmart that you grains requested me to review. She hasn't told me what they are, so I'm going to be surprised, obviously. Yeah, I think her excitement is worse than mine. By the way, if you grains think that Angel is abusive, towards me that is not true what she's about to say <laughs> <laughs> you're way too ahead this one here this one do you see how my eyebrows are lifted fear me I'm, i don't fear you <laughs> oh, no. my tactics don't work help me <laughs> so the first kit we're going to be testing out is a diy decorate your own squishy kit by smushy mushy that makes me so sad. There's a story behind that, and I have to hear it for the hundredth time. She destroyed my unicorn squishy. It was also worth it. Remember, the, the, the many something that you grains don't know is that that cute unicorn squishy that I turned into the, the apocalyptic squishy of death. <laughs> that was hers. She promised to give it to me, and I forgot. <laughs> and then she destroyed it the weekend after. <laughs> Sorry. Or am I? You're not. <laughs> Should I be sorry? Let me know in the comment section below. She should be. <laughs> so we have not just one, but two squishies. We're each gonna decorate our own. The next kit I was extremely super mega tagged on is an acrylic pour set. And this is supposed to be a starter set which has the paints already pre-mixed. Already pre-mixed? Already pre-mixed. That's interesting. You heard it here first. So this... I'm super excited about. And last but not least, something that I am super, super excited for. I feel like the salt might actually start leaking. Oh, <clears throat> not yet. Not yet. Keep it in. Stay inside. It's anticipation. The last set, which I didn't even tell her what it was because I think she's going to love this. A build a bear workshop. That's exciting! <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, I've only seen a Build-A-Bear workshop once. It is huge, I know, in the US. I haven't really seen them in Canada, probably anywhere but in Quebec. Probably. Because we get nothing good? Nope. Because we're the French side of Canada. So a Build-A-Bear workshop is this huge store that has plushies that you get to stuff, you get to also put the, their clothes on, customize them, give them names, sometimes even give them voices. So this is really interesting that I was able to find a kit at Walmart. Was it a Canadian Walmart? No, I had to buy from the US Walmart. Okay. I was like, I've never seen that. We don't get the good stuff here. Yeah. You American greens? You lucky. <gasps> Amerigreens. So first off is the Smushy Mushy Squishies kit. One of the things that worry me the most is that the way we're going to be decorating it is with colored pencils. We remember what happened last time with colored pencils? Doesn't absorb. Oh, you watched my video. Yeah. Good girl. Really? <laughs> Jesus. So I'm really curious to see because I'm usually a fan of Smushy Mushy, but when I legit ask them to send these to me because they keep sending me their squishies, they're like, it's out of stock. That makes me wonder the quality of this kit. Probably not good. So, like, this bunny, is, I really want to decorate this bunny, but it already has cracks in it, so I'm kind of not really sure about the quality of the item on its own. Curious to see what it looks like once it's out of package. You know what that means? <laughs> Time to see what's inside. <laughs> Hang on, let me give oh you my god, that was really <laughs> close to my face. it was a peel, right? <laughs> well, it's not a good peel, so don't do it. Alright, so I'm really curious. Usually Smushy Mushy smells really good, kind of like candy. And these are desserty themed. They're huge. I mean, look at these. So let's, let's take a sniff. <coughs> <coughs> that smells like toxic paint. Yeah, it smells really gross. No, don't. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why am I going for a second run? Oh, that is gross. Do not sniff these. Is this made for children? Yes. Oh. For those of you wondering, this kit for two of them cost me $20 US. 
So it is the standard price for a squishy, but an already made squishy. All right, time for the squish test after the sniff test. And, oh, that is disappointing. Ooh, uh, really? Mine squishes nicely. Look. Oh, mine's pretty good. Yeah, okay, but he's very wrinkly. Like, he, he looks really bad. So like, he's got cracks on his bum here. I don't know if it's very clear to you guys. Um, All around his little, what is that, paws? Oh yeah, this is front paws. I was like, wait, his back ones right there. So sorry about that. So he's got some cracks there too. Um, apart from that, like around his ears right there. So it's not like the best quality to begin with, but he squishes very, very nicely. You're very sweet. You're very much so the opposite of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far he's not so, whoops. Okay, so in. there is a difference between the squishing. So here's her bunny, squish test very nicely slow rising but when it comes to mine look at this here he is oh wow so there's a huge That's difference a really big difference it is two kits so it's the same brand same everything let's look again wow that's a huge difference because before when you were like, oh, that's really terrible. I was like, what are you talking about? Mine's great. <laughs> Which means it gives me the benefit. The other thing that disappoints me quite a bit about my little fawn. Is it a fawn? Yeah, it's, it's a fawn. That's what was written on the package anyways. I'm not really fond of it. Aha! What a joker. <laughs> Don't encourage this behavior. I love puns. They're great. This is going to be... We're so punny. So if you see here, we can see that for my strawberry, I have red. For the fawn itself, I have two different tones of beige. And yet these are the colors that I get, which means I have no red. I only have one tone of beige and I don't get a pink or a light pink. Instead, I get a purple, which honestly disappoints me quite a bit. This is the problem. And this is probably why Smushy Mushy didn't want to send me this kit. Because I'm pretty sure they know it's, it's poo. How about yours? Did you get all the colors that you needed? So technically I do have all the colors. I, I'm, I'm sorry, it peeled really terribly. So here's part of my bunny. So I actually got all the colors from what I can tell. Um, only missing, I think, yellow. Everything but yellow. I have the skin tone, I have the brown, I have the sprinkle colors, but I don't have the yellow. So that's the only color I'm missing. So now the question is, why do you have both purple and pink? No idea. They probably do them randomly. Kind of just add in all, all kinds of colors and all kinds of kits. Next time you should check that. That could be interesting. All right, so let's do a quick test of the markers, but we're gonna do it underneath to see how well it absorbs. Ooh. Oh, that one looks weird. Oh, that is gross. Is that mold? Is that? No, is it? What is that? Um, I, I think it's just the tip of the marker is weird. That doesn't look, I don't, I hope it's not mold. <laughs> doesn't smell moldy. All right, so just like a defective-ish marker? Probably, it's probably a cluster of pigment. So here's the green. Next is blue. So far the colors are pretty pigmented, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as good as the actual package. Beige. Oh, that's a weird beige. It's like dried up poo beige. Ew. Dark brown. Oh, huh. that, that is... one looks more like poo. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing though. I was expecting it to be more of the color of the outside of the, the crayon. Yeah, it's lighter. And last but not least, purple which is also pretty pigmented. I, I have to admit, I'm so far pretty impressed with the color selection, but also pretty sad at the fact that we're missing colors that we should have had, especially when it comes to the overall of the fawn. So essentially we should have had the two different tones of beige. You can say that their color selection is not fantastic. <laughs> So as you can see, both of the colors are pretty pigmented, but they're really not the right pigments as they're showing on their actual box. The bunny on the bag itself looks really even in, ter in terms of... Can't talk. English number one. The bunny's colors look extremely even, but if you look at the colors that we're using, it is in no way even. I'm pretty sure even if we get multiple coats, it's just not going to be right. You know what that means? Time to color them. All right, this is really interesting because as you can see here, this doesn't come off, but the second the other marker touches it, it's starting to bleed into the other one, which could have some really cool effects. So I'm going to be trying to put the dark brown and mix it so that we can get a darker beige, but I guess we'll find out because this is contamination. 
All right, so we are barely, well, for me, I'm barely half done because I still need to do the back side of the bunny. Okay. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> she had her mind in the gutter. <laughs> I did not until you said it. Totally your fault. So barely halfway through and look at this. The markers are already drying. And same thing for my sister. Yeah, right here my marker started giving out. Uh, so the color isn't as, as even as everywhere else that I had tried to... And even even? Yeah, it's not very even. It, it looks really sad, to be honest. It looks nothing like the picture. So we're gonna finish it as much as possible and then we'll let you know whether this is worth your cash or it's trash. So let's take a quick look at my little fawn. Firstly, I completely ran out of the color. The front looks okay, but I didn't have enough to do the hooves. And then when we go in the back, holy moly, what a mess. It looks like what's wrong with your belly, Jessica. <laughs> are, you, are you hungry? <laughs> I don't feed her. I don't know. Work. I know. And you can see in the back of my little creature, there's just no brown whatsoever. So I resorted to making kind of a fur texture. Another thing that is really annoying about this is that it is extremely sticky. Even though we've let it dry for at least 20 minutes in some parts, it's still really sticky. So my bunny turned out a lot better than my sister's, but unfortunately my marker started to dry out more in the back, so it was a little bit more splotchy. Apart from that, he had a lot of white, and because the markers were very sticky, I got some of the beige on his white. Might not show as much on the rotation, so a little bit more on his tail as well. It's not as white as it's supposed to be. <laughs> So we do suspect that one of the reasons why my squishy doesn't squish really well is probably there's an air pocket on the inside. And so I brought a pair of scissors. Little squishy dude. Nice knowing you. Meet the skizzers. And there is no air pocket. That's so weird. That is, oh wait, is there? Is it further up? I think, no. No, no. air pocket. So overall, the question is, is this worth your cash or is it trash? And the answer is... In the trash! So overall, it's sticky, the markers really suck, and you don't get the right colors. So overall, I would give it a 2 on 10. Sika? I would have given it a 3 because mine functioned a lot better than yours did. But overall, it's a 50-50% chance that it may or may not work. Next item, an acrylic pour set. This next kit has me really excited. Let me know, by the way, in the comment section below, which one of the three kits that we're looking at today are you the most hopeful on? For me, it's gotta be this one. So the idea behind this kit that you grains tag me on is that it is a pre-mixed pour starter set. So it should, in all theory, include everything you need. And I love the fact that it comes with all these different colors. And if we look in the back, it includes nine colors. It also gives you the gloves, which is rare, the stirring sticks, which is rare, and 10 cups to actually do the mixing, which is really rare. It even gives you the drop cloth. Oh my good, I am so excited about seeing this project that, you know what, let's, let's just stop, let's stop delaying and see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Nine colors of paint, cell magic, popsicle sticks, gloves, a plastic sheet to cover our table. That is really cool. We also get a canvas that is not one of those flat ones that we usually get from the dollar store. This one has about an inch of thickness. And we also get cups. So for $22.47, so far we're getting quite a bit of material. Not just that, but we're getting an instructional sheet. I me get I really hope my bar is up here. I'm hoping you don't disappoint me, Walmart kit. And the instructional sheet tells you how to pour, and if you want different kinds of techniques, how to achieve that. By the way, my sister didn't leave, she's just, I moved her over there because I need my... <laughs> I need my space, dang nabbit! All right, so instead of using the gorgeous canvas they gave us, we're going to be using the dollar store brand because we're going to be making two of them and she's going to try acrylic pouring for the first time. Are you excited? Yeah. There you go. We're being very family friendly here <laughs> and shaking it. Nah, dang it! <laughs> 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 you want me to do this for you? Oh my God. 
what we're doing now is we're going to be doubling the gold and black because we're both going to be using it in our canvas. So I would say, wow, this is really liquidy. Oh, watch out. You almost went off uh, the side there. There we go. I would say that's enough. All right. So we're ready to, ready to rock. You pour it off what you want. It's all about the creativity, go! All right, so the idea is we're both using black and gold, and then we're going to be pretty much interchanging the colors here and there until we get a nice enough kind of level of the mixture in the cup. All right, so this is Sika's first time doing this, and she didn't want me to do it to demonstrate it. She's like, why are you just gonna make it look easy? <laughs> That's true though. All right, go for it. All right, so let's try this. Oh, I'm gonna get it all over the canvas already. Are we ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> One, two, three. And let go. I don't want contamination. Let go? Yeah. I'm scared. Go for it. Ah! I got you. And just... Yeah, go wild. Well, I don't want to go too wild. I'm gonna just drop it all. Ooh, it's a nice marble effect so far. Ooh, Ooh that is really pretty. It's actually looking pretty cool. Yeah, I keep like going. This. You want it to pour. You want it yeah, to I get want off it the edge. Okay, yeah. Because I, like, I'm like, I'm gonna make a mess. No, that's the whole point. Have fun. This is looking really cute. Sika, what do you think? It looks super cute and it's the first time I've ever done the pouring, so I find it's something that's very fun and I think I would want to do it again. Yeah, so yeah. far so good. Let's see. I'm so far pretty impressed with this. All right, my turn. Thanks. I, well, I mean, it's not like you're artistically talented. Yeah, because I'm so crappy. The talent went to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it's my turn with my earthy colors. I'm going to let it sit for just a little longer so that all the paint and fall down. A few moments later. And, whoa. Ooh, that is pretty. Which way do I want? I think I'm gonna go this way first. So here they are side by side. What we're going to do now is take the torch and try to release some of those cells. You can see some of them already starting to peek through, which is going to be made even cooler. I really love yours though. Mine is super marbly. It's really pretty, I find. Yours too. It's just a darker version of mine, but I, I honestly like it a lot too. I guess we'll find out. Okay, the, the cells on this one are already looking amazing. I mean, this is really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. What a difference. I know, right? That's crazy. Let's do yours. Here they are, one last look before we let them dry overnight. 24 hours later. So here we are 24 hours later. You can see the before and after when it's dry. And the colors are pretty vibrant. Just to make a quick comparison, here's the Crayola one. The colors are extremely desaturated. Whereas when we look at the one that Sika made, the colors are still pretty vibrant and they're still leaning towards their actual color as opposed to becoming desaturated. It would be way nicer if we had put a nice glaze. You're pretty quiet. You're just focused on what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, good little sister. Oh. Okay, I'll pet you later. What? So overall, for me, for about $22, it would definitely be worth my cash. And you? I agree. It's a really nice kit. She had fun, and this was her first time as well. It was way nicer than mine. Yeah, they're both nice. I have craft envy. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, we have plenty more paint and that little cell thing to make at least two more canvases, so. Totally worth $22. Mm-hmm. Our next victim, uh -huh. I mean review, is the Build a Bear workshop. I am pretty excited, but I would have to say very scared. skeptical. I'm pretty scared. Why are you scared? I don't know, man. You just don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. Just, I don't think there's enough stuffing in there. Yeah, if we look at the box itself, the stuffing looks really just, just, just not enough. Yeah. Especially a flimsy bear. Well, not just a flimsy bear. According to the box, we are able to make two. Oh. What was that? That's cute. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's two. Oh, that's two. Oh, One eternity later. Now, this should be very straightforward. The box itself says four years old and up. I'm pretty sure we have the combined IQ of probably a four year old, which. <laughs> I lost her. <laughs> I hope we have the combined IQ. <laughs> I was gonna say a 40 year old, a four year old. So it should be very straightforward. I'm really worried about these little plushies, but you know what? There's really only one way to find out. Let's see. What's inside? <laughs> that 
that was really close to my head. <laughs> Well, you know what? When you're in my video, you're 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 casualty. <laughs> Here's what we get inside: the uh, stuffing machine in which the little teddy bear looks like it's really comfortable sleeping. And awesomely enough, we also get an extra bag of stuffing. I was really worried. Sika was really worried that we wouldn't have enough stuffing. And we get two bear. Oh, 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 oh. Thing. oh. Piece of clothing. <gasps> they look like they're spooning. It's kind of cute. <laughs> but they also look like it was a hot summer day and someone got dehydrated. <laughs> Maybe they were at Tanacon. Oh! <laughs> they look like raisins. They look like dried <laughs> raisins. They do look like raisins. <gasps> this looks like a sheep. Sheep? A sheep? A sh. A uh, sherpa? A sherpa? Sharpay? Sharpay. Sherpa? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have the combined IQ of probably a four year old, which. <laughs> Sherpa dog. That's what I meant. Sher Sherpa? So we get one in brown and one in pink. They're pretty cute. They're a decent. Is that a zipper? Oh, is that. Is the zipper like broken? Oh no. Oh no, it's not broken. That's just that's just how they wanted the zipper to be. Is it working? I can't put it back up. Do you need help? Yes. Let me try. What the? Really? No! Don't bring it back down! You done messed up! <laughs> don't bring it back down! I don't think I think it's a one-way zipper. Yeah, I think it's not reversible, so uh, this is gonna be fun. We don't have much very uh much very much very much very <laughs> English number so one much English. It runs in the family. <laughs> okay, this is a one-way zipper. I'm All taking right. this away from you. Yes. <laughs> I thought I could go back and forth and then it would be fine. No, I guess not. <laughs> you ruined my life! Which case I'll do that one, fun. And then we get two t-shirts. I feel like this is a meme. It kind of looks weird. It looks meme-y. Very meme-like. What's the material? Um, Why am I sniffing the t-shirt? It smells like it smells regular like clothing. It just smells like clothing. And then we get two hardy things, which I don't know Word. what they're for, but we'll figure it out anyways. We get two surfeticates. Two surfeticates. Two surfeticates. Two surfeticates. We get the certificates. Yeah, certificates. And some cutouts, which I'm not sure what they're for yet. Does this go in here? Oh, maybe. Does that make. I don't know. Alright, so the instructions are pretty straightforward. We're just supposed to take one of these little teddy bear things and then shove it over here. But we also read in the instructions that this is a safety zipper. Honestly, that was not necessary. Yeah, this is a huge disappointment because the second we have it this far, we technically can't open it. And trust me, I've tried. So I'm gonna have Sika help me here. I don't know how well- wait, what's that? What's what? What's this? Okay, so there's this little compartment thing over here and it's closed. There's a sticker on it. Oh, interesting. Oh, maybe that's where you put your accessories. Oh, cool. All right. All right, little bit. All right, so. So I'm gonna do this one with you here, and then we'll see if we can. Oh my god. We'll see if we can get the other bear. Are you good? I think so. So. Oh, I think oh this there we go. Coming. There we go. Oh, we're gaining some some life in there. Oh my gosh, look at him go! Look at the little belly! What is this? What happened here? I don't know. Do we need to add more stuffing or something? I don't think so because it's still coming out. I don't know. That's interesting. Is it because it has nowhere else to go? Maybe. So pull them out and they said to put it in the arms and legs first. Oh. Arms and legs. Oh, that is tight. So I'm trying to... I'm putting my finger in there. <laughs> And I have to admit, it is, it is, it's really hard to get in there. <laughs> Since this is for four years old and up, you can assume that a four year old's finger is pretty short, so they can't get as deep. As this is getting worse and worse, <laughs> I swear to God. Get your minds out of the gutter! <laughs> I guess we need a stuffing stick. Yeah, this is annoying. Okay. Do you need help? No, I think I got this. You got this? I got sausage fingers. I could do it. All right, so I'm going to continue stuffing the rest of this. And yeah, so far the machine seems pretty gimmicky. Because at this point, if I have to stop every few seconds just to take the actual stuffing and push it in myself, what's the point? I mean, the machine is supposed to take care of all of that. Yeah, you might as well just have the stuffing and stuff it yourself. It would be faster. Yeah, so for $30 US, so far the machine seems a little gimmicky. Build a bear. So, Sika, how's your somewhat zipped bear? Ugh, it's a nightmare. Do you have regrets zipping this even more? Hey, I tried to help you. It says nowhere. Actually, I don't know. We didn't check the box. Hey, up here. Sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to find the box. Hey, hey, I'm up here. I, was, 
I'm pretty unimpressed, honestly. Like, <laughs> my fingers are cramping trying to get it in. Um, I got the legs and the arms, and I'm trying to get the head. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, that was I'm heated. not doing this anymore. That That's was it. heated. <laughs> That's it. Done. Salt is flowing in her veins. Did you already zip yours? No, I didn't zip mine just All because, right, so you know, you what if- you want to put like a secret in them? No, what if I want to give this away to a kid? They could restuff it. So, I'll just take this here. You don't want to put a heart in it? No. So you don't want your bear to be alive? No, let me go grab some salt. I'll be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and picked up some salt crystals because it's my bear now. That's- you're, you're pretty stingy. I did what I could, okay? It ripped. And we're gonna put these salt cr 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 crystals in here. Oh, that's not gonna fit. Make it fit. You have some salt pouring out. It's my daily life. My salt always pours out. Well, this is a piece of trash. Yeah, it doesn't clip very well. Okay. Is it... So no salt? No salt. So here is one bear that we made for $30. The machine doesn't really work. If you mess up one zipper, you've messed up the bear. The crevices are pretty deep for a four-year-old, and it just seems pretty gimmicky for a Build-A-Bear. What is your opinion? I think it's trash. What is your opinion? In the trash. <laughs> that sounded really ghetto. <laughs> you couldn't do it. So, what is your opinion? In the trash. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Alright, so, what do you think of this? This goes... In the trash. I am so proud of you, sister. I am leaking salt right now. Look at my salty tears. So I agree, I definitely would say it goes in the trash. So here are all the products that we tested out. I have to admit, my least favorite has got to be the squishy. What is your least favorite? I would say the squishy too. Yeah. Yeah, that is definitely not worth it. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, don't make me wave a sharp pointy thing at you and press that subscribe and bell button. I hope your brains had as much fun as we did. I, I just, I, I love my sister. I love you. Love you. I love you. <laughs> so corny. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.